inspired art all right so this is kind of the design I'm gonna try to incorporate on this with this pour today a nice flower looking um, piece today so just drew this out as just kind of a guide in my mind of what I would like to see it turn into so we'll see if we can make it happen welcome to my channel again today um, so today's pour I'm going to be working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas gallery wrap canvas um, this is one that I actually had um, scraped a couple days ago let the and I kind of cleaned it all off I wiped it down and now I'm just going to pour over it uh, what I would like my pour to possibly look like or kind of incorporate on this one very much looks like a flower um, but kind of a layered flower so a bigger flower with a smaller flower in the middle of it um, is kind of what I'm going to try to go for and so I thought I'd just kind of pencil it in on my canvas so y'all could see what my vision is for today. Not sure if it's actually going to happen, but yeah, I'm going to give it a try and see if we can make it happen. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to flood my canvas, cover my sides. I am going to keep it where the longer side of my canvas it's the 20 inches across goes a long ways or or um, horizontal and then the shorter sides are going to go vertical so my flower will be um, more longer and squattier so I'm trying to elongate it across my canvas and that gives my petals a little bit more length so it can just stretch out over the canvas. So I will put you on fast forward mode for covering my canvas and then we'll come back and we'll decide what my color choices will be for today. Hey guys, I'm back and I am about ready to begin this. I'm going to go through my color palette for today. We're going to start off with a Liquitex Violet Purple. This is a Studio Acrylics, Pebeo Studio Acrylics uh, Purple. And this is an iridescent purple the Arteza Shocking Lime Green. Um, this one is the Pouring Master Sapphire Blue. And this one, let me reach it over here. This one was the Got Ideal brand. It's a, it's a new brand I'm using, uh, Pearl Sapphire Blue. And then this is the same brand, but this is the Chameleon Blue. So six colors for today. Um, we just talked about my design that we are going to attempt to do. So let's see if it's going to work out for us today. Um, gonna go ahead and lay out my my design and then we'll come back and start blowing it out 
All right, so starting off, I am going to lay out my outer petals. See if we can't kind of draw that in the way I want to blow it out. My center, I'm gonna kind of go right in the center and work up, just kind of outlining first. Let me see if I can get what I'm looking for. So, I think we need something like that, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit heavier. So it's kind of my outer petals of this flower that I'm going to try to create. I want to make this one a little fatter. And this way I can just kind of design it as we go. And because I only I'm going to have a minimal amount of colors on this. I am going to go a little bit heavier on this color here, just so we don't run out of paint and the ability to kind of spread it out. But I think I like that pattern, so I'm going to go forward with with what we got here. I'm gonna go over it with this. Oh, there is a clump right there and I need to get that out real quick. Let's see if I can, the tweezers, I think they're over there. If I can just get that out real quick. It is dangerous to go over your canvas like that, but I was careful. All right, so again with this, this is the Pebeo purple. And this, I haven't used this Pebeo purple in a little bit, so it looks like it's got a little bit of clump in it. I think I can get it out. I think these colors will look really pretty together. The nice little flower design. Now we're going to add in this brightness. This is not a whole lot, just a little. Give it a little bit of brightness. And then don't forget, we're going to come back after we blow, I'm going to blow this out now. Then we're going to come back and layer on the next layer of these petals. So let's see if we can't make this happen in something different. Time to have some fun. We're going to blow it out, guys. I'm going to start right here.
looks good so far. Trying to see if I need to blow it out a little bit more or not. It looks pretty good. I might need just a little bit more right there, I would say. On that a little bit Looking good. Now, I'm gonna take you down for a closer look right now, and then we're gonna layer on that other centerpiece, okay? Boy, this is a fun All one. All right, so here we are with our first layer of this bloom. And boy, she's beautiful. Oh my goodness, I really think she's stunning like this. And if I took it with or applied my signature style to it right now, I think she would be gorgeous. But I am going to do just one more layer and I got to try it. It's a new idea and I just got to try it just a little bit more, okay? So hang tight. All right, so now for our next layer, I'm going to go in with this dark, this is a deep dark blue. All right, so kind of have my outline right there for this one. I'm gonna to make that one a little bit better there. Yeah, I think it might look good. Okay, now we're gonna come in with maybe just a, let me get some more of that color in there. So we're not forgetting to put color in there. All right, so now with this one is that um, pearl sapphire.
and now the chameleon. I hope this works. I hope I didn't make this center part too big. Guys. All right, here we go. Let's wish, wish me luck. Crazy how it looks right now. I'm going to take you down for a closer look. So this is what it looks like right now before we do anything more to it. But of course I am going to do more to it. But woo! I am going to move the paint around just a little bit more just for better composition here and there. But you'll see me do it. But so far I think it's looking quite stunning. I'll do something more with the center as well, but so far, I think I'm liking it. Hang tight, guys. We're going to have more fun today. This is going to be very interesting. Brand new way of doing this, that's for sure. A different bloom. It's a bloom within a bloom. <laughs> All right, guys. Time to have a little bit more fun with this piece. We're going to manipulate, manipulate it a little bit more with my signature style. Going to start playing with it, but woo, so fun. Let's see where we're going to start with this fun. I want to make sure that, let's see, I'm going to start. I'm gonna mess with the, the center later, so I would just wanna get these petals aligned first before we do anything more with the center. So it'll be different in the center, that's for sure. She's going to be really cool looking. Definitely a different way to do it. It's kind of that bloom technique, but it's a double bloom. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And for the 
center, I am going to probably just make it a little focal point like I do, like this. I'll probably add some more paint in the middle. Wow. Yeah, I think she's looking good. All right. All right, I'm going to try to work on these leaves. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much with these outer leaves or if I should just leave these outer leaves. Um, I need to define a couple of these petals a little bit more, but I think the paint is pretty thick, so, or there's a lot of paint on there, so I'm not sure if it's going to allow me to do that. Just gotta play with it a little bit to try to make it work without ruining it. A little too much paint there. I'll have to fix the middle because of that. Other than that, I think she looks pretty cool. Probably going to add this green center, kind of bring it together. Mm. All right, so here is what it looks like so far. Kind of fix the middle a little bit. Um, I'm still probably going to mess with it a little bit more, but here's what it looks like so far. Sorry about that window in the background. I've got, there's a big window right behind me and it's really casting a terrible shadow and too much light, but I wanted to show you what it looks like right now before I do anything more with it. All right, I keep staring at it, and while I like the center leaves, I'm still questioning on these outer leaves. I really want to make them a little bit different. So I'm gonna try to play with it a little bit and see if I like it. Hopefully I don't ruin it um, and regret what I'm going to do. So, <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Maybe it'll come out good. I'll probably have to fix the inner circle again once I'm done. But I just want to make it a little bit different than what I see right now.
I don't know if this is making it any better or any worse. I'm standing really tall on this step stool so I can just kind of look above it. Trying to see if that'll make a difference. I got it. Okay. At least I got it. I don't know if this is even making a, a difference or not. Definitely have to fix that center because I don't like how it's spreading out like that. I think I'm going to put you on fast mode for the rest of this, guys. All right, guys, here's the final look of this piece we just finished. Sorry again about the window in the background. It's really casting a, a bit of a shadow on here, but hopefully you can see this and see how pretty she came out. I am definitely going to do something else after she dries, so stay tuned for that. But I think at this stage right here, she's looking quite pretty. She's definitely going to shimmer, and I think the colors are working really well together. And the composition on the canvas really is beautiful so stay tuned and I will show you the final results of this beauty